Love City, all you certainly need is love. My name is Anakunidu and I welcome you to today's episode. I hope you are well. I hope you are eating healthy, drinking a lot of water and minding your business. I will be introducing to you uh, my guest in the studios. Before that, let's take a break. When we come back, um, we get talking. Don't go anywhere. Saying, tell a friend to tell another friend that the love city is on your favorite relationship lifestyle talk show whatever anyhow you want to put it is streaming now today we will be talking about jealousy the green eyed monster we'll be navigating through um one's life when it comes to jealousy but before that i would love to read something for you it says that there is no greater glory than love nor any greater punishment than jealousy jealousy is a mental cancer he that is jealous is not in love an iron is eaten away by rust so the envious are consumed by their own passion let me give you an anchor there is no greater glory than love nor any greater punishment than jealousy. Jealousy is a mental cancer, and he that is jealous is not in love. As an iron is eaten away by rust, so the envious are consumed by their own passion. A bonnet of a car. This message tells us that jealousy itself is not a good thing. It's a cancer to the soul, one's mental well-being and in the studios i have grandmaster and a lovely duck a eh? eh, no no and a duck and lovely aha uh -huh. and a duck and lovely young lady you've seen in a minute it's been a while you saw her her royal miss, majesty miss, miss 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 something with the vibe yes little miss little miss with the vibe Hey, Charlie. Oh, okay. I'm loving the attitude. My wedding. Grandmaster is in the middle today. No, my wedding. Oh, yeah. That's and, my, that's yeah, my favorite position. And, yeah, he's going to take your favorite position. Yes, I love to be in the middle. Sir? The, I don't know if you know that video song. Sweet in the middle, you know. It's the sweet in the middle. Ah. To your church viewers and your <laughs> listeners. We appreciate you of continuously spreading the gospel according to Studios 2 Television. Mm -hmm. Like Nana Konedu always says, you, you are, are the, the real, real MVPs. MVPs. Yes, 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 definitely. You are the real MVPs. Hey, I'm over. Where have you been? Chopping and spending the money. Charlie? Mm -hmm. yeah, Looking yeah, all yeah. dashing, scrumptious, and all of that. She's saying I'm a fashion okay. music. Enjoy hey, the I'm fashion a, music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a fashion music. Yeah, yeah. Baba, right. where have you been? And I've how been have you been? I've been good. I am good. Yes. Hey. Spending Odogu. The way she's Odogu's glowing. Mm -hmm. I, I, there's no Odogu's money oh, that I was spending. Jawa Sam, you're spending Actually, it. I'm broke. You will not be. What's that brand name? <laughs> you are not broke, oh. fine I girls are not broke. Fine girls don't get broke. No, 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 no. no. Ah, have you forgotten? Small mm. girl, big God. <laughs> have you forgotten? Small girl, God, body, you know, big God. Maybe, maybe when ladies actually start accepting when they get broke, mm -hmm. they would find men who are willing who to are spend. Who are willing to spend on them. Ah, okay, fast, you are broke. <laughs> okay, and you're searching for a man who is going to spend on you. Yeah, you can put it that way. Okay, <laughs> Grand, where there was someone. Are you interested? You have money. Oh, Grand has you a lot of money. money. 
Pa, he, he's got a lot of money. I don't speak the if I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, me, money. I don't speak the king's language. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I speak the queen's language. It's unfortunate the queen is late, so I don't speak the king's oh, language. Yes. All right. Okay, guys. Hmm. Today we will be navigating um what jealousy is. We'll be navigating through what it is, if it's healthy for one to have a partner who is jealous. Babo, since yeah. you've been missing in action hey. for some time now, I would want mm -hmm. to pose this question to you first. Okay. Is it healthy to have a jealous partner? I would say no, but then it depends on the level of the partner's jealousy. Okay. Because it means there are levels to this. Yes, I feel naturally mm. every human being would have some sense of jealousy. Okay. Not when you are feeling. Okay, so if it gets to the point where you can realize that, okay, this person's jealousy mm. because of insecurity, right. then that's not healthy. Okay. But then, if you are together and then you see certain things, maybe it's not like on the normal, mm. but something would happen one day and you feel a little bit jealous. Mm. I feel that's normal right. or that's natural. Okay. But then when it gets too intense, then that's questionable. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. For a relationship encapsulated with jealousy, mm -hmm. that gets intense, like intense jealousy. <laughs> Could it be that your partner is already not coming from a very secure space, mm. a secured space? Mm -hmm. So he or she tends to be like overly protected. That's what they call it. They don't call it jealousy, actually. That some, there are some don't, who don't even call it insecurity. They don't accept. Yes. They call it, uh, I am being protective of you. Yes. Okay. But they don't know, say, and one person has a raw form of state. state. Hey, jealousy. But you know, that's, that's one. And then we also have cases where the person has had a situation, you know, when you don't heal from your previous relationship, mm -hmm. that's why it's advised you don't go into a new one. Okay. Because maybe this person's girlfriend left him mm -hmm. or your girlfriend's boyfriend right. left her. Right. So she feels like you're going to repeat the same. Mm -hmm. So she's always looking out for out those for. things. Okay. Okay. You are, you are smiling too much on too your much. phone. Have you gotten a new girlfriend? You're about to right. leave me. Right. 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 Any right. little thing, it gives her that kind of perception that. or that feeling that, okay. Mm, there's something fishy going on. This person is going to leave me at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So I think that also factors. Mm. Apart from you feeling insecurity, insecurity mm -hmm. or apart from you feeling like, you are being protective over the girl mm -hmm. or over the man. Mm. That also counts. When you've had a previous experience, right. the person has left you before. Okay. So maybe in your head, it will be prevention is better than cure. Let me, let me catch <laughs> let, them let early. Me catch, okay. <laughs> All right. Great. Grant, for... I have heard stories that are mind-boggling. Mm -hmm. Really? You did this? There are some who kill because of jealousy. I mean, I've seen you with my man, and me maybe say okay, say na eden na yoko su muntim. I get infuriated if I have a gun, pow, I kill you. Just like that. Yes, there are other stories out here. Someone, someone actually butchered the wife because on Sunday. Nebra, Kasa, and to him, mm -hmm. the state in which the, they were having a conversation wasn't appealing to him. Butcha and the wife. Enone sano, eye bottom, anasere. Well, jealousy, jealousy is huge. I read somewhere, and I, I had to write this down. See, the last step you go through before you can practice witchcraft is jealousy. Oh. Okay. So you have to remove it from your heart. Mm -hmm. How do you remove it? Is this something that is removable? You have to be kind to yourself. Okay. I have some policies in life. Baby, I am firm in the main call. Okay. <laughs> All right. Baby, I am in the main call. You understand? How? I mean, how you have you to know, know your limits, know your okay. boundaries. Mm. Bubble has a man. Don't pro feather. Crown Master has a lady. 
don't probe further. Don't probe further. How? I mean, especially you when your, her man. Okay. You don't have to try to make the man look like he's not worth having an akone do. Okay. Listen, when when someone is in a relationship, mm. you have to respect their space. Okay. Regardless of your feelings for the person, you have to respect their space because okay. one might have a jealous partner. Every, each and everyone has jealousy in them, just like Babo said. Mm. It will take something to unearth that jealousy. Right. You might call it overprotectiveness. Yes, it's understandable. If I have something I cherish, I would want to protect it. It's no Overly. fault of mine. Overly? It's no fault of mine. Overprotectiveness. There's scarcity in the market these days. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Yo. There's scarcity in the market these days. Some commodities, when you are given to, you have to protect them. So, girls are commodities. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't get that's it. What, that's why I'm referring from what you're saying. I, you don't, I, I didn't, I didn't overly Okay, then explain refer, yourself. Explain. Listen, <coughs> girls are precious commodities. Okay. <laughs> so, you so just girls said are it. commodities. Girls are not just any commodity. Ah, girls are commodities, Listen, right? Listen, it's not like they're on the market for sale. <laughs> okay. Gold. Let me, let me, let me, in this case, let me just refer to okay. our, our ladies as gold, precious diamonds okay. and golds. Right. Uh-huh. Not everyone should have gold and diamond, but then gold and diamonds are just there in the market. How, but then what, what not everyone like possesses it. Listen, when I have a lady, mm. I have every right to be overprotective. Do you I, trust <laughs> that lady at all? Listen, it has nothing to do with trust. Okay, so I trust you, okay. Okay. but I don't trust the company you are in. I don't trust the next party getting involved with you. I know you, I know your mindset. Mm. But we are humans, humans change. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, I, Babo has but a then question for you. Know, you I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm open to a question. <laughs> I, I want to, I want to put something okay, out do. here. Mm. So I feel like, let's look at what overprotectiveness is. Mm-hmm. Because there is no problem with you not being comfortable with, with the crowd the I'm space, in. Right. Okay. There's Both no fine. problem with that. But then when we talk about overprotectiveness, we are talking about you restricting mm-hmm. my movement. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't go here, don't go there. That's, that is that's, overprotectiveness. That makes a lot of sense. Let's mm-hmm. take it from this angle. Mm-hmm. Okay, so maybe prior to the time we have started dating, we, we've had some sort of conversation going. You are trying to, like, we are trying to know each other. Right. Okay. Then you tell me, maybe in the past... Grandmaster, I, I, my, my ex left me because mm-hmm. I might have accidentally slept with my best friend. But who would tell you that? Oh no, we oh, have deep conversations like that. Dates, right? We are, we are about dating. It will make I mean, sense. You are, no, you are, no, 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 no. <coughs> really? Listen, so out, of, the, out, out of how many girls? Out no, of, listen, we, we are having, deep, we are having deep conversations. You are trying to let me understand what broke you in the past, so I can do good by you in the future. So you are telling me, Grandmaster, maybe I. We are, be, we, are, we are putting our cards on the table. We okay. are being open. We are being clean. Mm. I don't want anything from my past coming to haunt me. Right. So I'm telling you, okay, probably I slept with my... I'm being open. So I slept okay. with my, my best friend okay. and my ex found out. Okay. That's how we broke up. Mm. Okay, so this is me. At the back of my mind, your best friend, you slept with him. Mm. Mm. In as much as I appreciate you coming... <laughs> in as much as I appreciate I, you... I'm just trying to fathom <coughs> yes, in how as much one as I, would... I appreciate you coming... Tell, oh, yeah, they do tell. No, she said, he said it's a deep, it's a deep mm. conversation. It's a deep conversation. They've had several, probably. And then they've so, built that kind of... Yes. of rapport. Yes. Yes. To be able to... Yes. Okay. We are moving to okay. the next phase of our relationship. Right. Okay. I'm trying to know you. You're trying to know me. Okay. You know my downside. And mm-hmm. you see that kind of conversation. Mm. So, uh-huh. so this is the case. You are in town. <laughs> it's late in the evening. Mm. You're not coming home. Okay. I'm calling. There's no answer. I'm calling. There's no answer. I'm calling. Then I'm here. I'm hearing male voice in the background. Okay. And you're like, can I call you back? What well, I can I can't really talk where I am. There's too much answer. I can also I also know there's too much noise in the background. Mm. And I'm afraid. I'm and I'm afraid. Right. So there have been I have I have experienced conversations like that. Then you are like, okay, I'll call you back. I'd have to call you. I'm with my best friend. I have to call. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you lost me. What's blood. happening? <laughs> Flashbacks. Okay, you like, <laughs> like you told me some few days ago that you slept with your best friend and you you, you see that kind of yeah, so, yeah. so you see you why wouldn't, you wouldn't blame to... me mm. if I switch on the overprotectiveness. Okay. Because once beating twice. No can it down so Or so 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 you wouldn't blame the other party. <laughs> Jealousy is not a good tool. Right. No matter how you'd want to use it. Mm. Trust me, I can't I can't say on this platform that 
jealousy is a good tool you can use. No, mm. it's something you shouldn't practice at all because okay. from that stage you're going to witchcraft. Right, right. You can easily practice witchcraft mm -hmm. if you jump from jealousy. From jealousy. So and you know, because this is the case where I carry you in my heart. Mm. Mm. The slightest thing you do, I am offended. Right. Probably maybe you are some sort of like my go-to person. Mm. And now you are the one hurting me. Who do I talk to? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can easily be damaged or, or wounded by anybody who is overprotective over you. Okay. Not saying overprotectiveness is a bad thing. It's just it works hand in hand with jealousy. With jealousy. You just to know where you exhibit it. Mm. And how you tend to exhibit it. Because okay. if you are not careful, the person who is overprotective over you will become easily jealous. Okay. And from there, Kweku Fimpon, they are Okay. <laughs> so I have heard crazy, 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 crazy stories about jealousy. There's a lady who tells me that, oh, I think jealousy is a good thing. I mean, it makes the relationship, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So there are individuals who intentionally do things to spike some sort of jealousy in their spouses. I think I have I've read cases of that. And I probably Are you no. is it that, is, <laughs> have you not experienced <laughs> No, that, I haven't. You've not read it. I, I, I <laughs> you you have you have experienced. No. Babo, no, a few really, minutes ago you were telling me that. Oh really? Uh, wow. Was that a conversation we were I can't having seem inside to recall when, when I said yeah, that. In Malay, but, she was telling me that I But you know, we we have this thing around. I'm not saying I do it. You do. No. <laughs> <laughs> but right. you, you see this um breakup makeup thing. Right. Okay, so when they get angry and then they, I think grandma will be able to explain it better. When they when they are angry. <laughs> And then she comes to apologize, mm. and then they're like, when you make out mm -hmm. after the argument, right. that's when it's at its best. Okay. So I feel the whole so idea. How how how, how, do I, how do I attest to this? <laughs> how? No, I mean, I'm like, you, like, you have a better. How? Exactly. I don't I mean, know. Maybe you have you have a reputation. How, how do I attest one. to this? This is a good warning. You are talking about exactly. makeup, makeup, sex, and all that. Then I can attest to that. I'm a, oh, big deal. Hi, can better. you attest to that? Countless, big, countless. Uh, countless. Uh, big deal says he's not feeling well. I'm certain. <laughs> oh, I attest to all of those. I, I feel some, some of it is, is also to get a reaction. As mm. for that one, then right. I can say I have done that. To get a reaction. It's more or less, okay, so I'm going out and you're like, okay. So you will not say anything. Maybe the, the whole idea is not to go out. But just to hear if you are going to be okay with it. Like, don't you want me to stay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're like, okay, go. Then if I go, yeah. I'm calling you like, right. you haven't seen me. I'm enjoying myself. Right. You know, you know, it's, it's something ladies do. <laughs> I'm telling you today. It's something ladies do a lot. I mean, we just want to do something and have you talk about it. And then we feel, you know, feel important good. and all, you know, needed and all of that. Yes. We do that a lot, but to the extent where, okay, how do one tell or how do one decipher between jokes and seriousness? I mean, you know, there is a limit to everything. Yeah. And there are, there are individuals in relationships that they just go overboard. They go overboard with this, okay, mami nyo weina beyinka. And now machine before, probably the, there has been a little tiff between us. And I don't have anything to to say on the phone with this particular guy. But because I want you to get angry and jealous <laughs> and begin to like ask questions that, but who is she even talking to? Are you see, Why is she talking to? It's, it's understandable, but when you push people to that sort of direction, mm. I think mm -hmm. it could it could fifty percent work out. It could fifty percent backfire. Bios, yeah. How the backfiring? Because, because mm -hmm. you have me feeling like okay, so some way somehow you are getting you're over an me. option or something. Yes, yeah, some way okay. somehow you have you have found someone else in town. Mm -hmm. Some okay. way somehow I am beginning to feel the pressure. Okay, so your plan might be working. 
Okay. And this is where I also start looking elsewhere. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so at the end of the day, let's make each other jealous then. Okay. Because that's the goal. If your goal is to make me jealous, I can equally make you jealous make it too. Right. And would I start help? Right. Okay. Okay. This brings me to my next question. I want to ask you both that for one to be jealous doesn't mean that he or she do not trust his or her partner much. Like, there is no form of trust at all. So, supposedly, he or she meets his or her spouse standing with someone like a random guy or a random lady. They begin mm. to think, okay, I don't trust this girl. I don't trust this guy. I am jealous. I'm wanting to know what you are talking, what, sort what of a conversation have, exactly. Yeah. Is it trust issues that gets people on that jealousy? Most, most often, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily trust issues. Okay. Sometimes I feel like you have given them a reason to doubt you. How do one do that? You see, there are some people that when they are glued to their phones, mm. you would start asking yourself questions. Okay. So we are together. We are like you are my girlfriend. We are indoors. Mm -hmm. And instead of us to have a conversation, the, I don't think there's, there's ever a dull moment with me. I don't know about anybody else. Mm, I don't think, dumb. don't do that. What is a yep? The way Bubble is saying, yeah. I said, okay. I, said, okay. Know you. Mm. I said, okay. I don't think there's a dull moment with me. <laughs> I, I, I can steadily hold the conversations mm. when we are alone. And even when we are not talking, there are other extra curricular other things you can do. be doing. Oh. Mm. So why spend time on your phone then you come, come tell me it's my friend? Could you, could you enlighten us on some of extra the extra curricular <laughs> We could play our oh. We could play Ludo. Oh, okay. You have Ludo? That yes. person always has an answer. We, we could play Scrabbles. You have that? In your I have room? all. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am an adventurous person. Oh, okay. there are a whole lot of things. I, I have dice. Mm -hmm. I could, like the way they have. <laughs> yes, we could roll dice. Okay. Yes. Okay. The sort of dice I have, I'll show them to you later. Oh. Yes, very very educative dice. I think. I I've said Grandmaster that, always I has an I've answer for everything. Yes. Very very educative. Very very educative dice. So why why do you feel like you guys are talking <laughs> about something different? Oh no 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 normal dice. Yeah. There's yeah. six five two one thing. I'll show you the dice yeah. I own. They are very, very... Mm. Ah, hold on, Grant. What kind of dice are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I have the dice. No, I, thought you, I thought you knew what he was talking about. What kind of dice are you talking about? I have them. You would see them. Oh, okay. So, you see, there shouldn't be dull moments between you. I think <laughs> when you are with someone, they sh you should be their confidant. Mm. You should be their best friend. Unless they are wanting to keep other best friends. Okay. I don't see a reason why if I'm with Babo, Babo shouldn't be able to talk to me. Okay. She would have to confide in another person for the person to give her solutions. Mm. I feel like some way, somehow, that's some sort of like boyfriend girlfriend violation. Okay. Because <laughs> if we are to move our relationship to the next step, right. I should know when I offend you. Mm. Okay. I'm that sort of person. I don't keep grudges. I don't expect the opposite sex to keep grudges too. You should be able to come for it with Grant. You did this. I don't like it. Mm. Rather than give me the silent treatment, mm -hmm. or rather than choose not to talk to me, choose you know some people do this thing. Okay, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. he will catch up with it. He will catch on. And yes. if he never catches on, or she never catches, then your on. anger keeps boiling up. Right. right. Most people do these mistakes. Right. They expect you to automatically know or indirectly know what you have done. Mm. Some might say maybe you are playing dumb. Some might also say maybe you are quick to see what you have done. Right. So they keep. Pushing and pushing and pushing before you realize mm. you've blown everything out of proportion, mm. which you could have easily just approached your partner, right. then they simply I'm sorry. Okay. Could have had you kissing could and I... making up. Okay. 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 Kissing uh, for those who you know, I think this thing I'm about to say, I feel is like it's part of human. You 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 know you can be in the room with your partner and I say there's literally nothing to talk about. Honestly, there is nothing. As a my exhaustive conversations, in India. so it's either the extra <laughs> curricular yes activities. curricular activities you are wanting to a exhibit and a practice, <laughs> or you just be on your phone. And knowing today and what technology has done to us and relationships, it's serious. You can be in the room with your partner and be on your phone. 
of the, without it unknowingly. It happens like that. Without knowing you are on the phone with your partner. Now, Babo, mm -hmm. for you, this is a personal question. For me. For you, what is that one thing mm -hmm. that your spouse will do that will get your thinking to two? Wow. What is that one thing, that one thing, that will get you thinking, okay, all right, eh, you know, have a lot, a lot of but, thoughts, yes. Hey, that's why idea. I have to think a lot. <laughs> then I'll be what? asking you to say, ah, yeah, okay. Th those are the dice I'm talking oh, about. Oh, okay. look at my dice. Uh, dear, 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 Aisha, hey, please, <laughs> to the camera, eh? I definitely give it to your MTR because to, since we are looking, yes. yeah, they would equally it's, it's, want to. it's such an interesting dice game. I such see. an interesting <laughs> there is no dull moments around me. I know. Unless, People are creating things, unless, yes. unless I don't like your company, mm, mm, mm. but I'm a very innovative person, mm. that's why I keep telling you I'm adventurous. Wow, yes, I'm adventurous <laughs> to a fault, okay. yes, right. admittedly, yes. Wow. Mm. What's that one thing? That that question. Okay, I think it would be. Uh, this is really difficult to think of. Think about it. But, but you should be thinking I think about yours too. What what would do mm. now mm. would be he given not say just attention. Right. You know we, or if I should put it like this. Mm -hmm. Having friends is not a problem for me, right? Because I have friends, so I don't mind when he has friends. Mm -hmm. But then there will be certain kinds of friends that right. want things, mm -hmm. right? So you giving that certain person that kind of attention, I mm -hmm. think that's what will get me jealous. Right. So say um, I'm with grandmaster, right. and then he has a lot of friends. I don't mind. Mm. But say when Kunedu likes Grandmaster, and I know that Kunedu likes, likes Grandmaster, Grandmaster, and then Grandmaster is no. giving Kunedu, he knows because one and how thing. How would Grandmaster know Kunedu likes? One thing, that's what oh, I'm coming that, to that, say. That. One thing that I feel works most, mm. I'm going to tell you okay. Kunedu likes you. It's simple. What can you do? Kunedu likes you, right? It's for you to know that, okay, so when this girl wants us to do this and that, she has her own intention. So maybe you might not her. realize or you okay. might realize. Okay. But when I tell you, it's different. You can't tell me you didn't know. Okay. You get it. So when you start giving Kunedu the extra attention, mm. I'm definitely going to get jealous. Okay. All right. Because I'm going to be thinking, it's not like you don't know that this girl okay. likes you, you know. Mm -hmm. So if she's like... She's calling you, you for like one hour. And all of that. Definitely. You're going to get jealous. Definitely. And have issues with your man. Okay. Yep. It, it brings me to my next question. Okay. Right, I'll come to you. Be thinking about the, the next question. Yes, the next Stay question. Ask me a lot of questions. <laughs> the next question will be if your spouse mm -hmm. buys a gift for a friend, okay. a lady friend you know. Okay. Are you going to get jealous? Be be honest with me. It depends on the location. If it's her birthday, why would I get jealous? But if it's not her birthday, any any, any type of gift, right? Any type of gift. <laughs> it could be any a lingerie. It could be yeah. Well, I think it depends on the gift. How, how some some gifts to me, I wouldn't mind. Mm. If even if it's not her birthday, right. I'm going to ask you why because it wouldn't make sense for you to just stand up and be buying gifts. You're not for that okay. Christmas. Okay. He gets it. So then, it depends on the type of gift mm. and then the intention you have. Okay. Because if you be playing with me mm. and then you tell me, or maybe she How was talking about that. How would you know your mind? His you are, intention. Yes, his intention. You're going to ask him and then you're going is, to trust going to be honest that what he's telling you is the truth. Is the truth. Right. When okay. you, when you mm. tend to not believe that, mm. that is when... Mm. You are also opening doors for jealousy. Okay. When you tell me and I believe that, okay, so I told you that she needed a bag and you wanted to buy her a bag. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I'm okay. okay. Unless you are lying to me. Okay. Then, if I find out later... How are you going to find I out? I will find out. Just <laughs> easy. There is always the second intuition. Okay. You are going to be like, ah, I know this guy. Mm -hmm. 
he doesn't buy gifts for people. Okay. So what so what changed? What, what changed? Which right. kind of need that the one need the bag? Ah, uh, yes, buy bag. And a woman mm-hmm. na wakata bag. Mm-hmm. You get it. Okay. If the one needed a bag, she mm-hmm. could have come to me. Right. I can make you who see can I make a kota me na me kota ye. You get it. You don't have to buy the bag for the Okay. So then, if there is other things following, mm-hmm. you would definitely. Feel eh, okay. Eh, grand. Okay, grand. <laughs> well, I think for me, my 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 threshold for jealousy is some way somehow high. Because okay. why are you coming back? No, but I am. <laughs> you see, the thing is, I'm not. Okay, I'm, not looking at I'm, you. I'm not saying there are so many pe- perfect people around me. Right. Okay. But some way somehow, I think I. I create that sort of atmosphere where you won't have to look over your shoulder when you are with me. Okay. Yes. It's not always lovey dovey. It's not always you understand. It won't be rosy all yes, through. Yes. There, there's there, there might be fault on the waist, but then mm. I always want to create that sort of environment where you can easily walk up to me mm. and tell me what the problem is. Okay. I have met people who, in the past, they've told me that. So you grand, you are fortunate. I don't. I'm not like this always. So mm. you should be thanking your stars. I don't know why I, I can easily talk to you. That's the sort of person I, that I I, I, I I like. I paint myself to be. Okay. I don't just paint that sort of picture because I am that kind of person. Okay. Even if you don't feel like talking to me, mm. I don't think we would would go. It would be a day. You you won't sleep on that anger. You definitely share it with me. Okay. When you're in a relationship with somebody, I don't think you have to speak your mind and you just end the call and you don't let the, person, the people explain themselves then you just go straight to bed. Mm. You have to always give your partners the opportunity mm. to say their side of the story. Okay. Regardless of what you know, even if you know what they're telling you is the lie, mm. listen to it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, listen. Okay. It makes you understand proper and better the kind of person you're dealing with. You're dealing with. If they have made up a lie, and you already know the truthful side of the story. Just listen. It makes you know. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you already know the truth. Okay. But then look at how well framed they have framed they are, their life. Mm-hmm. 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 So I always want to stand back and give people the benefit of the doubt. Of the doubt. If you choose to lie to me, mm. that is you. Right. Not you. Okay. I always create that room for openness. Mm. Because I pride myself as an open book. Okay. I don't think hiding pe- behind people's... No, no, no. I don't like to do sneaky, sneaky, sneaky stuff. Okay. I read the scenario when I feel like I can indulge. Fine, I do. If I read and I read and I read and I read and I check the coast is not clear, I just come back just like I did now. Okay. If I realize that you are that sort of person... Come back in. So come back. Can, yes. I, I want to come in. <laughs> I want to come in so bad. I want to come in and just talk. I want to come in and talk. <laughs> So you see, no, you asked me to come back. <laughs> it's okay, Pastor. Why this well? <laughs> so you see, I always want to create that atmosphere where my partner should always be able to talk to me. Right. When you do that, you won't have your partner confiding in anybody else. Okay. I'm saying this because of experience. Okay. Maybe in the past, I am not that sort of person that can be a go-to person for somebody. Okay. People always feel like, well, can crown any kasakra or bebuigu. So mm. let me look to the next person to talk to. To talk to. Okay. And you know, when you talk to people like that, you tend to develop some kind of love. Right. If not that relationship kind of love, okay. love and respect, you cherish their, their presence mm. more. Mm. You can be surprised what that can turn into. Right. Okay. Let me take um, a few messages and I come back to you. Both. You know, he never answered the question. He will. He will. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay. Hey, Juju says, having a jealous partner can be very challenging and tough. Even though jealousy is a re- in a relationship could signify love and affection, it has more devastating effects on the relationship. Having a jealous partner could lead to unending trust issues, which could eventually ruin the relationship. Matters ranging from sensitive to mere information can't be discussed with a jealous partner because of the tendency of it being interpreted into something negative. Hmm. Relationships thrive on open communication. Jealousy could be a hindrance to that. So therefore, 
shouldn't be encouraged. It's unhealthy to have a jealous partner. Okay. All right. And Laura says, hey, she, yes, so, but not overly jealous. A sprinkle of it makes mm. it a bit mm. spicy. This is a lady talking, you know. <laughs> This is a lady, a lady, a lady talking. Why? I want us to play a quick game. So if I ask a question, I'm positing a question to you both. If you've you've done that before, you say yeah, yeah. If you've not, <laughs> all right. Ah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so first question, quickly. My producer says my time is up. Big deal. Shout outs to you. Let's do this quickly. To you both, have you ever had sex on a first date before? No. Yeah, yeah. Hey! <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> God. Have you have you kissed have you kissed a first time friend before on a date? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. Have you not you had <laughs> sex on a first date? <laughs> kiss now, you? kiss him. Third, have you have you ever? scheduled a sex appointment with your spouse and ended up not enjoying it before no you've not no so you you enjoy every time no we've not scheduled at all that's what i mean you've not scheduled that before no are you saying you've never had sex before no we every, not every, every, every time I have scheduled. It's spontaneous. It happens spontaneously. Every, you every, schedules every time I have scheduled. I mean, yes. Every time I, mean, every time you, you I have scheduled. You can literally call. You can call your son. It's not good to go well. Well. It, it does. It does go well. It does, really. It does go well. With it that goes sort of well. Mindset. Talk it's to always, us about it. Always, so you have always, done that before. Yeah, I mean, maybe if you, where are you? I mean, today Get ready for me. We are doing the do. Charlie, I do go town come. Today we are getting last. Okay. Last on the list. Okay. Have you... <laughs> this one yeah. have you i don't want, i don't know how to put it semi four plate or a shallow four play in a bus before it could be a bus on an excursion or you are traveling hey the way grandma is smiling yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Go and answer. Answer. Let me take your final submission. So for him. Him. Let me answer for him. I have answered yeah, yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I have, I have done romantic exactly. trips before. So. Exactly. Okay. That was the main purpose of the trip. It was okay. a romantic trip. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So with that, were you were you doing stuff at vantage points like in, at stops? You stop here. You do this. You stop here. Off. Yeah. It was it was like the sole purpose of the journey. So okay. Allocations were made for that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Or some romantic getaway thing, so you can come with your partner as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I think I think you, you need to tell those watching that mm -hmm. any information they need, they should come to Grandmaster. He he is just say <laughs> he can give you the full short code the, the list. I think he has about a hundred of them. Like he'll be like, if you do this one, it doesn't work. There's a plan B. Yes, do this. Plan C. This plan D. Yo. All right. Gan, you didn't answer my question on the question if, if uh, your, your girlfriend buys a gift for a male friend. Is that going to spike some sort of jealousy in you? Okay, so just like Babu mentioned, it would depend on what you are what getting. What you are getting, okay. Um, I mean, I don't have problems. I mean, before, before relationship, there was friendship. Okay. Before relationship, there was friendship. So. Okay. I can't just come and impose and tell you what to get and what not to get for your friends. Okay. I think if I do that, it's me being possessive. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to come across like a possessive person. Right. But then you should know the limits. Okay. Getting them boxer shorts, <laughs> singlets and stuff, send some sort of signals. Okay. One might say, I'm just getting them these things because I feel they need it. But how, how did you see the boxer shorts not it? So you are getting oh, them come new ones. On. You see, it could it could just be an insane coincidence. Right. You you wouldn't want me reading. I mean, you could, you, could easily, you could easily get them iPhone covers, okay, with their okay. pictures on it. Get them frames with their pictures to put in their rooms. Mm. I mean, it's understandable, but don't go over over and aboard to mm. go get some gift that would have your man uh, talking. No, talking, no, no. Right. I mean, I don't mind you getting your friend's gift. Okay. Because just like I mentioned before, relationship there was, there was friendship. friendship. Yeah. Babo, your final submission. On jealousy. 
I would, I would stick to the fact that some of it is natural. Mm. And then you see even the comments. Is that right. a sprinkle? Over here. <laughs> it's not like I have a bad makes, vibe, but a sprinkle them, of, I, right. I mean... It, 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 makes, keeps, it keeps the relationship going. <laughs> I feel it adds to the drama. Right. But then, don't cross the line. And mm-hmm. you are definitely going to know the line. If you know your partner, mm-hmm. you know that if I do this and that, I'm doing okay. too much. Okay. Just don't do too much. Okay. But a sprinkle of it. A little. <laughs> a little of it. <laughs> Pop it to so. <laughs> Grant, your final submission. Everything in this life is reciprocal. Okay. Hey! <laughs> Why do I feel like it's for me? It's for you. Post bass. Bass Everything in this life is reciprocal. (laughs) The energy you put out there is the energy you receive. Right. You get it. If you want, really, if you want things done just the way you want it to be done, Mm. even the good books talk about it. Hey! Mm. Yes. They do. I see it. Do you want to add what you want done unto you? you. Right. So when you realize that you putting out jealousy out there, is kind mm. you definitely receive jealousy in return mm. Mm. okay like i've i've always mentioned before the program even began mm. i pride myself as a very open person mm. i wouldn't want to go down the jealousy journey because i'm i am not too much of a person who can mm. control my mood and my temper mm. so i always choose to be open okay when you have a problem, talk to me. Don't mm-hmm. go talking to your friend somewhere and telling him, say, say uh, I, I want that. No, no, no. Come to Grant. Grant offended you, not your friend. Right. Mm-hmm. Don't be seeking third party opinions. Okay. Talk to opinions, me. Good yes. Maybe, right. maybe for all you know, Nipana on the Nekas and Nekas and maybe I don't feel you on Pemasem. And now on Pemasem. Because Anasa can move you move. I know. I will say, if you are a catch of grass, you deserve better. You deserve better. I don't even know what you are doing with that guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've always been here. You are wasting, you see. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if you don't want to hear such things about your man, mm-hmm. talk to your man. Mm-hmm. He's your man. Mm-hmm. Okay. But doing so, don't forget, before relationship. No, it's no friendship. Friendship. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you guys for, you know, and the yeah, yeah part. That's my favorite, <laughs> the yeah, yeah part. Girl has, has, know. has, has a lot of experiences. Mm-hmm. And like Rebel mentioned, if you need <laughs> details, <laughs> the intertos of every everything at all in this life, contact Grandmaster. <laughs> he will sort you out. So that being said, um, jealousy itself is not a good thing. I mean, but we being human, however, we are human and we have some sort of little, you know, <laughs> Jealousy here and there. You you may term that as overprotectiveness or you're looking out. That's why I'm looking out. But it's there. Limit the jealousy spirit. You know? Because when you limit that, you become healthy. And I am always preaching, eating well, exercising, drinking a lot of water and minding your business. So if you don't mind your business then you will get jealous. But when you mind your business, you will never get jealous. You guys are the real MVPs. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and comments with us. And thank you for watching our videos as and when we placard on our social media platforms, YouTube and Facebook, Twitter. Do or continue watch from current affairs to sports to entertainment and to my show. Until I come your way again in our next episode, be good, eat a lot of fruit, exercise, drink a lot of water. It's exercise and, too. Uh, and mind your business. It's a bye-bye. You didn't hear the last one. It's a bye-bye. <laughs> the shooting's exercise.